In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to use the PIP objects that are part of the new Tutorial Creator effect package in order to highlight places on your screen when doing a tutorial. Now, because it's called Tutorial Creators, it's oriented toward those who do instructional videos, but it has applications on other projects as well. Right now, we're going to show you how to highlight things using the PIP objects section of this add-on. We'll deal with the title templates in another tutorial. I have on the screen a tutorial that I was working on with Microsoft Word. I've muted the track, so we won't hear any audio, but it shows basically how to do some formatting changes in Microsoft Word. Let's assume there's some places where I want to highlight what the audience, the viewer, sees on the screen. I can do that with some of the PIP objects in the Tutorial Creators package. To get there, I click on the third icon down, the Video Overlay Room, or the F5 key on my keyboard. And I'm going to go from the subcategory of General to the one called Tutorial Creation. Now, the Tutorial Creation Pack is available if you are a subscriber to PowerDirector 17 or you can buy it as a standalone product. The first 12 objects that I have are at basic drawings. They look a little bit like GIFs, animated GIFs. And so we have these drawings that you see, and when I highlight any of them, they will appear on the screen. Let's take a couple of them and use them in this tutorial. I'll take this one and drag it down to the marker I have by my timeline and I've just loaded it into the program and if I play I will see that arrow being drawn in the center of the screen at the default size. Now the nice thing about this is I can double click on it or press the F2 key to get in my PIP designer and once I'm here I can control a lot of features. I can control the scale of it, I can resize it. If I turn off maintain aspect ratio on the left side, uh, I can also change the look and feel by making it not exactly the way it was originally designed. I can also rotate it. So if I want to highlight something, I can simply point the arrow to it from whatever direction I prefer. You can do some other things with it as well. You can add a border to it. I'll click on here and then we'll do a black border and we can augment it several different ways. We can change the blur of the, of the border, uh, some other options with this. We cannot change the color, but we can change some other things related to it. And if I click on OK, now I have my modified PIP object on the higher track. And when I play this part of the video, uh, I will be illustrating that and the arrow will highlight visually what we're talking about there on the screen. Then of course you can change the duration that the PIP object is on the screen either by stretching it out with a mouse or when you click on it you can click on the clock above the timeline and numerically put in the duration that you want that object on the screen. And so we have 12 of these objects. Uh, the arrow was a nice one. Another nice one I'll go to the next uh, timeline marker I have here. Another nice one is this box annotation. Let me drag that down. And one thing I like to do with the box, because it does hand draw it, we have to move over in our object in order to get the, the playhead where we can see the whole thing. And we can resize this. I'm going to turn off maintain aspect ratio. And now I can draw the box right around this area here and conform it pretty much to whatever I want. Click on OK and now when we play that it, it will look like we've drawn a box around that particular segment. So it's a nice highlighter. And if it goes longer than the default length, it will simply repeat as you just saw. So those are the first 12. When we look in the Tutorial Creator Pack, the next objects that we have, there are six of them, are arrows. 
and when I click on any one of them you can see them these are not animated and we can drag and drop any of these six under the screen and resize them and rotate them any way we want those are the next six in the package then there are six others that are also arrows and they actually look very similar to the ones above them except these are animated and so if you want a brush stroke animated arrow, you can take any of these and use it. And let's drop this one down on the timeline. Double click on it. Move over so we can see the whole thing later on. And then we can adjust it like we could anything else that we see here. And make it work in our tutorial to highlight something special. So that's another example of an animated arrow. So let's try something else. We have below the arrows that are animated, we have other animations. We have six. These are more of a sophisticated looking arrow. And again, these change from left to right. And so if you want to highlight something in particular, I like this one here. If I play this unedited here, it goes from uh, faded to dark, and it will repeat as many times as, as it has to, given the duration of the PIP object on the screen. And so you have these six that you can use as well. Thanks to the Tutorial Creator Effects Package, you now have 30 objects, PIP objects, that you can use to augment different parts of your screen to draw the viewer's attention to it in CyberLink Bar Director.